Hello and welcome to Get Started Fast with Avid Sibelius for Educators, presented by Avid Blogs. My name is Katie Wardrobe and in this eight-part series, we'll look at the special education features that Sibelius offers teachers and their students. In this lesson, we'll focus on streamlining your work with Sibelius in a classroom setting. We'll cover the benefits of network licences, the classroom control feature and customising menus and shortcuts. If you're using Sibelius at your school or tertiary institution on computers that are connected to your network, you can choose to authorise your licences through the Sibelius license server. This means you can install Sibelius on as many computers as you like, and when one of the students or teachers opens Sibelius, they're automatically assigned one of your floating licences. You can see how many copies of Sibelius are being used at any time by checking the license server control panel. On the licences tab, your total number of licences are shown here, and the available licences are shown in this column. The Clients tab shows you which users currently have Sibelius running. If you're at a school where students or teachers have their own laptops, you also have the option to check out licences so that Sibelius can be used away from the school network. This can be helpful if a student or teacher wants to use Sibelius at home. A checkout licence is assigned for a specific period of time determined by you overnight, for a week, for a semester, or anything up to a year. The settings for checkout licences can be found in the License Server Control Panel on the Licences tab. Click on Checkout Settings and set a maximum number of licences to be checked out at the top here. Underneath, you can set the checked out licence to expire in a specific number of days or on a chosen date. These maximum number of checkouts and the number of licences currently checked out are reflected on the Licences tab here. While on the school network, a student or teacher can check out their copy of Sibelius by going to File, Help, Checkout Licence. They can then select the checkout period up to the maximum that was set in the Licence Server Control Panel. If you're using the Licence Server version of Sibelius at your school or institution, you can also take advantage of Sibelius's Classroom Control feature. Classroom Control allows you to send files to students instantly from your own computer, to gather files from students without the need for emailing scores or placing them in a folder on a shared drive, temporarily freeze Sibelius on student computers during class time, and you can prompt students to create a version of the score they are currently working on. To get started with Classroom Control, open Sibelius, and then go to File, Teaching, Classroom Control, and enter your password. Once you're logged in, the Classroom Control dialog appears and you can see a list of each copy of Sibelius that is running on your network. The list shows the username of the person using Sibelius and the name of the score they're currently working on. If you would like some or all of your students to temporarily stop working on their scores and pay attention to your next instruction, you can use the Freeze feature. You can select specific students in your classroom control list first. If you want to select all of them at once, use the Select All button at the bottom of the list. Then click on the Freeze button. The students will receive a message to let them know that Sibelius has been temporarily frozen. Use the Unfreeze button to allow the students to resume work on their scores. If you would like to view a student's score, you can use Classroom Control to retrieve the score directly over the network. The Get Score feature allows you to save a student score directly onto your own computer, to open a student score, or to open and save the student score simultaneously. To save a retrieve score, select the student in the list in the Classroom Control panel and click on the Get Score button. The score will end up in a default folder named Student Scores which lives within your regular Scores folder. The Open Retrieved Scores button opens the student score straight away. You can then choose to save the score on your own hard drive or in another location. In addition to retrieving scores, Classroom Control also allows you, the teacher, to send scores out to student computers. This is extremely useful if you'd like students to work on a template score that you have created and you want to distribute it to them quickly. There are two ways you can do this. To send a score which is currently open, select the students from the list in the Classroom Control dialog 
and then click on the Send Current Score button. To send a score which is not currently open on the teacher machine, choose Send Other Score and then locate the score on your hard drive. The score will automatically open on the student computers. In Episode 2, we looked at Sibelius's Versions feature, which allows students to save milestone versions of their scores, all within the one file. Through Classroom Control, you can prompt your students to save a version of the score they are working on at a specific time of your choosing, such as at the end of a lesson. When you click on Make Version in the Classroom Control dialog, the New Version window will show up on the student computer. They can name the version and fill in the comments box. To streamline the use of Sibelius in the classroom, you have the option of disabling Sibelius's advanced features so that students aren't distracted by features they don't necessarily need. To turn off the advanced features, go to File, Preferences, and click on Keyboard Shortcuts. In the current Feature Set drop-down menu, select School Features and click OK. Advanced features, such as many of the options on the Layout and Appearance tabs, will now be greyed out and unavailable for students to use. You can also set up your own customised version of this feature set, which will allow you to enable or disable extra features. To customise your own feature set, go to File, Preferences, and click on Keyboard Shortcuts. You can set up a feature set from scratch by choosing Add Feature Set here, or better still, select the Edit Feature Sets option and base your new feature set on one of the existing sets in the menu here. Select the School Features set and click on Duplicate. Then select Rename Feature Set, enter a new name, and click OK. You can then select your new feature set from this drop-down menu and adjust which features are enabled or disabled. Find the feature you'd like to enable or disable by selecting the tab or category on the left and then select the specific feature in this list on the right. Use the Enable Feature checkbox to turn a feature on or off. That wraps up the seventh Get Started Fast with the Avid Sibelius for Educators lesson. In the final lesson, we'll look at the ear training and music theory software programs Aurelia and Musician. To watch the entire Get Started Fast with Sibelius for Educators series, join us at avid.com forward slash Sibelius Educators.